Look, there's two more over there. Wow. I, I don't think I've ever noticed that. And if they've been here since the beginning, somebody let me know down below in the uh, the description or the comments as well, because I, I don't I don't recall ever seeing those. They they could have been here the entire time. Is there any more? No. Okay, just those four. They could have been here the whole time. I just don't remember seeing them. It looks like they're moving. Are they moving? Am I am I just is my eyes playing tricks on me now? Or are those moving? It looks like that one's moving. They look like they're all moving. They are moving. Wow, that's awesome. All right, gang. Welcome back to our Gator Challenge. You join me as we're on our way to go back to the store there to pick up some more seed and fertilizer. We have some already in a bag. Um, but I'm not sure... Well, it's not I'm not sure. We're going to need more is what I'm trying to say. The problem with this drill is it's so wide and the actual paths are so skinny that I have to go around the long way. So if I was to go that way, it gets blocked up by the tree and by that wall. So we have to take a little scenic route, which I guess is a good thing for you, gang. You'll be able to see a little bit more of the map that you may not have been able to see yet. So we'll take our uh, take our little scenic drive here early in the morning with the sun rising and uh, check out this map a little more. So we have $410. Whoa, this thing's heavy. Brakes are not that good on the gator. I got to remember that. Come on, Z. We do not have that much money. The problem is, the crop that we do have that is ready to harvest is, uh, not the best time to sell it. So I was hoping to keep it, but I don't think we're going to be able to. We might be able to keep it for one more episode, maybe, but then the, the loan is going to catch up with us at that point. Uh oh we're going to this is going to be a problem right here. We're going to have to get out of the way of the car and back up. So, because of that reason... We may have to sell some of our crop when it's not the best time to do so. If we don't, we're just... We're, we're, we're going to be in the negative, and we're going to lose. So we, we can't do that. That's the biggest problem here with this with this loan that we have. It's a severe loan. Granted, it has been slightly... Uh, well, I was going to say less worsened. That's not really the correct way to say it. It has become a better loan for us because of the auger issue that we had before, the silo issue we had before, but it's still a, a significant loan when we're not making that much money. So we're probably going to have to sell some of it. If it's not today, it'll be the next episode. We'll, we'll have to see. Um, our little tiny uh, field right here, our smaller field, is ready to harvest, so that's good. Uh, so we've got a number of things we can do and accomplish today, which is really going to help us. Um... But, so we went this way this time. Let's go left. Let's go around this way. This way is going to be longer. But, uh, let, let's just take a, take a look at this map. We really haven't explored this map very much yet. Oh, watch out, person. I just ran that person right over. And that person, too. But it's a pretty nice map. I mean, this city here looks really cool. It's like a tiny little town, I guess is what it is. It's not even a city. It's a town, I guess. But, uh... I really like it. This is this is nearly impossible to drive through here, gang. Oh, see, I knew something was going to happen. Maybe I should have just went the other way. Maybe I should have waited to do this driving around and we didn't have a big drill with us. Uh, just look, I mean, this drill takes up the entire road. Oh, here comes a car. Of course. Great. Fantastic. We're going to drive into this, uh, this guy's crop here. Well, that's our own crop. Never mind. We're back to where we are. So yeah, maybe we should put a path here. Well, I guess the good thing is this crop is not at a point yet where it's going to harm it. So let's just drive through our crop, I guess. A little unrealistic, but we're going to do it anyway. Now, we do have uh, a one modification that I have made that I need to discuss with you guys. Um, so we were doing fries. I have switched that. We are no longer doing french fries. We're doing premium potatoes. Premium potatoes are worth more than uh, french fries, so we have stopped doing that. We're also gaining pig food in the process as well, so maybe eventually we'll get pigs, but uh, the problem we have, though, it, regardless if we had french fries or premium potatoes, there is not a sell point on this map for any of those, so we are going to have to put a sell point down. 
I'm impartial to put down the same sell point we have in our 400 horsepower challenge, the little market. I like the way the market looks, but I don't know. We might just put down a little $100 um, sell point, even though it's pretty unrealistic. We might just put that down to save us a little bit of money. I think we're going to. I don't think we have any choice. I'm going to put sorghum in here again. This is what was in here before, but I'm going to put sorghum in it again. We don't have a whole lot of seed. This is the problem. We have to buy more seed as well for that field over there. There it's ready to harvest, which we are going to do today. I missed a portion. Whoops. So hopefully, this isn't a very big field, but it's long. So hopefully we can get this done and uh, not run out of seed and, and fertilizer. But I, who knows? We might. We just might. The nice thing, I guess, is we do have some fertilizer in our barn over there. In our our uh, gator fertilizer spreader. We do have some fertilizer there, so we could utilize some of that. Uh, because we have less fertilizer than we do seed. So that may be what we end up having to do, but I don't see any way that we can get both of these fields drilled. Obviously, we're going to drill this field today, harvest the other field, and then we'll drill, the, or drill that field the following episode. But, um, yeah, we're... we're we're already hurting. Uh, the the production I put down cost us a lot of money, so I'm really hoping that those potatoes pay off for us. I don't know if they will, but I truly hope they do. If they don't, we might have to pivot again real quick and uh, do something else with that, that production or sell the production, maybe. But I'm hoping it, it provides us a pretty penny, more so than what we would get if we just sold the potatoes as is. So you might notice that I do have the water tank on here. That's because I was taking water to that production. I didn't want to put that on camera. It just didn't seem like it was that important to show you guys me taking water back and forth multiple times. Um, it does take water for those premium potatoes. That's the only other thing. So uh, water's free, so I might as well go ahead and do that. That's why we were... That's why we have the water tank on, I should say. And that's why we were doing that. Couple other items. I know uh, Milk That Hen, at least uh, in the comments, said that he was potentially interested in doing this series. Please welcome anybody who wants to join this series. Um, he was kind of, you know, asking more details about the loan. Don't worry so much about the loan, gang. Just, just have a loan. It really doesn't matter as long as it's not like, you know, a ten thousand dollar loan. Make it, make it significant. Make it a hundred thousand or whatever you want to make it. Make it a significant loan so it gives you a little bit more of a challenge. Um, but yeah, that's, I mean, kind of what I said in the first episode. It's, uh, you can only use a gator unless it's harvesting or something that the gator can't do. Um, otherwise, if it's any kind of drilling or, you know, anything at all as far as the field goes, it has to be done with a gator with the exception of harvesting because there's no gator harvester. But if a gator can pull it, regardless if it's a, a water tank or a, a fertilizer spreader or whatever it is, it... it you're more than welcome to utilize it. And if there's some kind of mod for PC players, I play on console. So there's a mod for PC players that's not on Mod Hub for the Gator that makes it, you know, faster or whatever. By all means, use it. I mean, you, you do it how you want to do it. It's, uh, the challenge is just, uh, something fun to try to... Try something a little different. Well, I, we may fail at the challenge, but... Just wanted to try something different, put something different on the, on the channel that... I haven't at least seen anybody do yet. But if you do decide to do it, make sure you let me know down below. I will uh, link to you in my description. Uh, so anytime I put a post out and, and somebody sees it, they might, you know, see your your name in there and they'll go check your video out. It looks like I missed some sorghum here, doesn't it? I did miss some sorghum there. Maybe that was the worker that missed it. Hmm... Well, I guess it's not that much. I was going to say, maybe I should just go get the the harvester and harvest that really quick, but it it might not even be... Oh, it's probably like three liters, maybe. Maybe. Probably not even really worth to even think about it. So 
So this will be a little quick time lapse here, gang, but we're going to go through into a time lapse now. Uh, we'll get this done. Hopefully we have enough fertilizer. I think we do. We certainly have enough seed to do this. And then uh, once we're done, I'll be back with you guys, and we'll uh, kind of decide what we want to do as far as that production goes. Um, I'm leaning, like I said, towards just placing down like one of the $100 selling points, you know, a grate or, or whatever. But I just got to figure out kind of where I want to put it to. I really don't know where I want to put it. It's going to be kind of in the way no matter what. So there might be times where I want to not sell something or not put something into production. But we don't have a whole lot of room to work with. We really don't. So be back with you guys when it's done.
All right, gang, I decided to jump straight into doing some herbicide as well, as you can see. Uh, we're almost out. We're going to have to go back to the shop and pick up the rest. Uh, but it's done a pretty good job, honestly, this little little sprayer here. Not a very big width. I'm sure we've missed some portions of it, but uh, we can touch that up in the next episode. Um, but I figured, you know, we're going to have to do it anyway. We might as well go ahead and do it now. It's better off doing this now than waiting until the next episode when the weeds actually pop germinate. So... Go ahead and do that. Uh, I did see on the on, when I was doing um, the spraying that field to the right. Well, I guess it depends on which way you're looking at. The other field next to us, field eight, was uh, ready to harvest. It's a big field, ninety nine thousand dollars. We're not going to have anything near that. Even if we sold this and what we have in the silo, we're we're not going to have anything near being able to buy that. But I was considering picking it up um, because it's ready to harvest. So it's just it's you know free money for us after we buy pay for part of the part of the field but I mean maybe if we sold a lot of the stuff we have maybe we could get there but uh, that's not really the main goal of this of this challenge right we certainly can do that and, and we probably will sell a lot of these gator uh, attachments at some point when we have other attachments we can utilize that we can just pull by the gator we'll probably do it at that point but I don't know if it's if it's this early on episode three. I, I don't think it's it's ready for that yet. Ideally, we'd buy this plot right here, this little skinny little plot here, and, and realistically, what my goal would be is to connect this one to here, make this path here go straight out to the main road here. That way, we don't have to worry about this little tiny side road, and then connect this one with the rest of this. Ideally, that's what we would do, but. Uh, that, you know, that, that, we don't, we don't have ability to, to do any kind of sugar beets right now. Um, we'd have to buy another harvester to do that. So, uh, not anywhere near on the horizon. And I think the sugar beet would require a PTO, which we cannot actively do with the gator. That's where the main issue with the gator stuff comes into play is there's no PTO, uh, attachment ability, at least not on, on console, not on mod hub. Pod, potentially that some of you PC players that may be watching this and play on PC, you might have something maybe as a, a mod that you can download that allows you to do that, but I don't have that luxury. And this is the, I think, I mean, I'll, I'll do some more research again, but this is the highest um, gator horsepower that I've been able to find. So it's, it's almost 100 horsepower. It's a lot for a little gator. Like I said, I'm sure we've missed part of this. I know we have. Um, I'm not used to utilizing such a small width with the sprayer. So, next episode, we'll, we'll touch all of that up. So when we're done here, my goal is to figure out where I want to put a cell point at in our little farm area. It's going to take me a little time, so I'll probably do that off camera. And then once that's done, we'll see what the price is for the for the potatoes, the premium potatoes. I'm hoping it's decent right now. I'm hoping that the, the fluctuation of, of the premium potatoes is not very much, you know, a couple hundred bucks. Because if it is, we'll constantly sell them whenever they're ready to go. Uh, until we get a nice profit and maybe pay off the loan and all that kind of stuff. But uh, if, it's, if it fluctuates a lot, then uh, I'm hoping <laughs> right now is, is the time to sell them. Uh, it's only two crates of it, but two crates is better than none. And if it's, you know, I, I don't know what the price would be, but if it's like two or three thousand dollars, I mean, that's that's really going to help us out a lot. We wouldn't have to worry about selling any of our crop yet if we did that. We could hold on to it for a little while. We'd be able to, you know, suffer through the fees of the of the loan for at least another three or four months, probably before we'd have to sell anything. And at that point. At least the sorghum, I believe, would be in a much better state to sell. I don't know if it would be the best, but it would be way higher than it currently is. It's it's pretty low right now. Um, put this on a on a on a uh, cruise control here, and I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. Uh, sorghum, we have 12,925 liters, which is a lot, but right now the max it's worth is 2,366, right? Yeah, and. Uh, it can get up to 2,754, so it's really not that bad, actually, when you think about it. So maybe we do sell it, but 
you get what I mean. I'm trying to make as much money as we possibly can because we only have three plots of land. It's it's really not a lot. So, and with that kind of a loan, I mean, we're we're we're, we're eating like six hundred dollars every single month in fees from the loan. So, not really ideal by any means. I know there's gonna be a big portion in here that I've missed, so I'm just gonna try to hit little portions here where I think it would have I would have missed at. Like I said, we can touch a lot of it up in the next episode. Shouldn't be a problem. It shouldn't drop the uh, the yield that low. I, we need a roller too. We don't have any money right now, so but if we can sell those potatoes and make money, maybe we'll get a roller and we'll roll this field too before the end of it. All right, we're gonna call it. We're gonna call it there. I, I know I missed portions, but we'll fix it in the next episode. So let's go put this away. And then, uh, when that's done, I'll go off camera for a second, figure out where I want to put this, this selling grade at. We really don't have the room for it. At least not, not in a position where I'm happy with, so I'm going to have to do a little, little thinking on this, so I'll be back with you guys once I figure out where we're going to put it. All right, gang, I decided just to put it right here, kind of next to the house and, and next to the barn. I don't think it's really in the way here. I, I can still put my drill here for right now. I, I really don't think it, it's going to be a problem. So we're just going to sit right there. It's just a selling great. Nothing too crazy. Uh, it does say that the, the prices do not really fluctuate for the premium potatoes, even though it says it's dropping in price right now. So I'm assuming it's just, you know, 50, 100 bucks, something like that of, of, of fluctuation. But it's not worth as much as I was hoping, but it's still a thousand bucks per crate. I mean, that's that's going to do what we want it to do, right? We're not going to have to sell our uh, our sorghum if we don't want to. Now, the nice thing is we have that right there. So if there ever ever is a situation where we're in dire straits, we're about to go negative and lose the uh, challenge, we can throw something in there quickly while having to drive it to somewhere else. Uh, the selling station grade for sorghum is actually the highest right now, which is crazy. It's 2,299, so it's really not that far off, but it is going up. So my goal here is we're going to go ahead and harvest our other crop. Um, it is significantly lower than it needs to be, October. I mean, it's pretty much as low as it's going to be, so um, we'll wait on selling this one for a while, the, the soybeans here, but um, 3219 is, is not bad. It's... It's almost the highest one you can get of, of those. So I think it was a, a good purchase for us right now. Actually, I'm getting in the wrong thing. I need to get in the harvester. No, I don't. I need this guy. I got to pull out the header, and then I can get in the harvester. Well, I could use the harvester to do it, but in any case, you get what I mean. Pull this out a little bit. That way, we can get in the harvester here. And this is a great harvester. Look how big those chunky tires are. I love big chunky tires like that. We can back up a little bit. Don't run into the water tank, Z. And we can go straight into harvesting this field. This field will not take any time whatsoever to harvest. It is a very small field. What we're probably going to put in here is we'll probably put uh, oat in. Oat is um, pretty quick to harvest. We need to put in um, crop that's quick to harvest, honestly. Uh, we could put slower crops in and just skip the months, but and I kind of mentioned that, that we're allowed to do that, you know, if we get to that point. Uh, but ideally... Uh, we we don't we don't have to do that very often, right? But we will when we need to. But if we put in quick growing crops for the most part, that canola is not a quick growing crop, but the sorghum is, and I think oat is the is the second fastest growing crop. I think could be wrong. Somebody correct me in the comments if you know better than me. But uh, this shouldn't take long.
almost done with the field here, gang, and for whatever reason, this one, this Massey Ferguson Harvester, for whatever reason, seems to have the same, like, glitch issue, um, error issue that, I, I want to say it was a FAR, but I, I can't remember. There, there was one that I did on my main channel before I flipped everything over to the second channel for, specifically for farming, that I did. It wasn't a Massey Ferguson, but it has issues, like here. See how slow this is at turning? When, even when I have the header up? Like, I, I don't know. And, like, if unless I go back down to zero, it's like a, a dead, like, just stays at five. Even with everything off. I don't know why. There's something going on with this, and, and one of the other ones, I don't know if it's a console-only issue, if it's just an issue in general. If you've experienced that before, let me know down below. But for whatever reason, man, it's slow at turning. When it has any kind of crop in it. I don't know why. It could be 1%, it could be 90%, it doesn't matter. It's the same kind of slowness in the turning. So I'm just kind of dumping from directly from the uh, harvester into here. There's there's was no point for me to really use the, the gator there, I think. Because I was so close. So we'll go ahead and put this back on here. And we'll put the the harvester away here. Well, that went well. Oh, good, 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 good. It fixed itself. Good. Turn the beacons on. We don't need those off anymore. Or turn them off, rather. I think I said turn them on. Turn the beacons off. We don't need them on anymore. Alright. We can try to back this up. Probably terribly, but we can try it. So I think... What we're going to do kind of to finish this episode, because we don't have a whole lot else we can really do. Um, we're, we're kind of waiting on, you know, the potatoes to, to flip over to here, and then the potatoes that we have in here to uh, be turned into premium potatoes. We've got 6,000 potatoes in here. It's just a slow process. Uh, we've got enough water in there for now. Well, I'll put some more water in off camera. I really don't want to show you guys. But look at those hot air balloons. Look at that. Have those always been there? Maybe they've always been there. I don't I don't think I've ever noticed them. Huh. Okay, well, how about that? Um, so, I think what I want to do here is I just want to see... I figured these were going to be way too expensive, and they all have PTO. I just was taking a peek to make sure they all have PTO, because this little plot of land over here has sugar beets in it. That's part of the problem. We're never going to be able to buy that until they get rid of them, or until it's just ready to, you know, be planted. Uh, this field over here... I don't know, is this... Soybeans, yeah, I was going to say, it kind of look like soybeans. 98% yield bonus, that's really good. Like, I kind of want to buy it. We don't have the ability to do it, though. I think if we sold everything we had... We still wouldn't get there. Um, yeah, like right now, I mean. So. We would not. We would not even be close. Not even close. Not not even halfway there. So that's not even an option. The only other thing I wanted to do is I wanted to see if there's any other really small plots of land similar to what we have. Like, or similar to three, maybe. That is within a, a relatively reasonable price range we could get soon, like two. We could probably get two pretty soon, I think. Um, not 10. ten. Ten's decent size, but it's not that. Uh, 31,000. This one looks like the best one. It's a grass field, and that's the problem. We can't do anything with grass. If you know, let me know down below in the comments, if you know of any kind of mower, old school mower, like a real mower, where it doesn't require any kind of power, right? Like if you have old school real push mowers, like is there anything like that in Mod Hub that you guys are aware of for mowing? Let me know down below because I would love to get that for our, our John Deere. Uh, I think that would be the way to really move this, this series forward is to be able to mow something Regardless of if we can turn it into silage or not, we probably could buy a, a you know something to sit down to turn it into silage. But I don't know. Regardless, we're gonna leave that episode there, gang. We do have enough money to survive at least another month or two, uh, based off of those premium potatoes being sold, which is fantastic for us. 
Um, I'm glad we have a selling grate here now. We can sell stuff here quickly. Things are doing well, though. Things are going well on the farm. So we've got that field over there all planted and uh, herbicide. We're going to have to fertilize it in the next episode. Uh, we'll drill this field and put herbicide down on this field in the next episode as well. And uh, we'll see where we're at as far as pricing goes for the sorghum. The sorghum is going to continue to go up all the way to January. It's currently October. So I'm expecting to constantly be kind of moving ourselves up there. We may not wait until January. We may sell it in November or December next month or the following month. But uh, we'll see how things go. If it's only a couple hundred dollars off what the average price is, we may just sell it because we're going to need the money. Uh, to continue here. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. Like, subscribe if you're new. It's free. Helps me out a ton. Uh, if you're interested in doing this, like I mentioned at the beginning, well, I guess it was a little bit more towards the early to the middle of the of the episode. Uh, if you're interested in doing this challenge, please let me know. I'm happy to tag you in my description so every time a video comes out, you get notified. And uh, anybody who watches this video can check the description to see uh, a link to your channel and go follow you as well. So let me know. Certainly happy to do that. I love uh, having the uh, the community kind of just come out and uh, enjoy a, a series together. It's really enjoyable. It's like the 200 horsepower challenge. There's <laughs> like 20 of us doing it now. It's it's amazing the uh, the reaction to that. So look, there's two more over there. Wow, I I don't think I've ever noticed that. And if they've been here since the beginning. Somebody let me know down below in the uh, the description or the comments as well, because I, I don't I don't recall ever seeing those. They they could have been here the entire time. Is there any more? No. Okay, just those four. They could have been here the whole time. I just don't remember seeing them. It looks like they're moving. Are they moving? Am I am I just is my eyes playing tricks on me now? Are they, are those moving? It looks like that one's moving. They look like they're all moving. They are moving. Wow, that's awesome. Well, that is so cool. I didn't... Let me know down below if you saw those in the first two episodes I did, because I never saw them. Anyway. <laughs> I digress. Thanks so much for watching, gang. Like, subscribe, new. Subscribe to my other channel if you haven't done so already. And until next time, I will see you all in the next episode. We got hot air balloons, man. <laughs>